Hello children, welcome to my new English class. Today it's uh, Wednesday the 10th of June 2020. Uh, well, uh, we have finished the unit number 5 and we start today the unit number 6. The title of unit number 6 is something, okay? And all the vocabulary that we are going to study in this unit is related to uh, food and drink, okay? To food and drink. So now please open your class book and your activity book. We don't use the notebook, okay? We are not going to use the notebook in this unit number 6. I don't want to waste my time. Eh? I want to uh, work only with your class book and with your activity book. So the first thing is the vocabulary. The, voc the vocabulary of the, of the unit is this one you have here about food and drink. Listen and... Listening chant. 40. Listen and activity chant. Activity okay? 1. Chant. Salad, toast, water, jam, sandwiches and pasta. Yum! I like eggs and I like juice. Yes, I do. Yum, yum! It's a very, very bad song. Eh? It's a very bad chant, very boring. Now, please, teacher, repeat the vocabulary, okay? Salad. Okay. Toast. Toast. Remember the sound of the T eh? at the end of the word. Toast. Tostada. Water. Water. Yum. Yum. Mermelada. It depends on the flavor, maybe. Orange. Yum. Apricot jam, etc., etc., etc. Sandwiches, sandwiches, pasta, pasta. There are different types: spaghetti, macaroni, etc. Eggs, eggs, huevos, and finally juice. The same juice can be orange juice, apple juice, uh, I don't know, tomato juice, etc. But now, in the activity number two, in the activity number two, we have this. Okay, you have in the picture the family is in the kitchen preparing the preparing the the I think it's the lunch or the dinner. And no, it's the breakfast. It's in the morning. They are preparing the breakfast. Hmm? And they are in the kitchen. Uh, you can see here uh, Lucy. You can see Sam, Mommy, etc. Carla outside in the car with Dad, etc. Listen and say yes or no. Listening 41. Activity 2. Listen and say yes or no. Number 1 is salad. Yes or no? Is it number 1 the salad? Yes. Number 2 is eggs. No, number 2 is not eggs. Number 2 is water. Number 3 is water. It is not water. Uh, they are eggs, not water. Number four is juice. Number four is juice. Yes. Number five is jam. Number five is a jam. No, it isn't jam. It is pasta. Yum. Number six is sandwiches. Number six sandwiches. Yes. Number seven is pasta. Number seven is it pasta? No, number seven is not pasta. Pasta is the number five. Number seven is strawberry yum. Mandalada de fresa, strawberry yum, no pasta. And finally, number eight, Lucy eh, has on her hands. Number eight is toast. Number eight, is it a toast? Yes, it's a toast. Eh, Lucy is eating a toast eh, with uh, strawberry, strawberry jam. Well, after this activity, we have the activity number three. Listen. 
here the structure I don't like. Do remember that I taught you the expression and uh, for example I love me encanta. I like me gusta. I like me gusta. I hate. Recordar que no es que love es cuando algo te encanta. Gustaría like, que es que te gusta. Gustaría don't like, que es que no te gusta. Y por último, lo que menos, que vamos, no lo puedes soportar, es hate. Odio. I hate. hate. Una cosa muy graciosa. Los ingleses, cuando les gusta algo, eh, dicen yummy, yummy, qué rico. Mm, como cuando nosotros hacemos mm, interjection, interjección, que expresa que te gusta mucho. Mm, pues dicen yummy, yummy, yummy. Escribe así, mira. Y, U, M. ¿Vale? Y si lo, alguna vez dicen yami con dos M y con Y al final. Y yami, yami. ¿Mm? Y cuando algo no les gustan, dicen, como este niño, dicen yak. Y, U, C, K, yak. Que nosotros hacemos yak. Pues ellos hacen yak. Y cuando les gusta algo, hacen yami, yami. Nosotros hacemos mm. different expressions depending on the country where you live. So listen and listening repeat. 42. Listen and repeat. Activity 3. Okay. Listen, listen and repeat. Come on. I like toast. I like toast. I don't like jam. Repeat. I don't like jam. It's very easy. So we close this uh, activity and we go to the number one page, number 57. Okay. This exercise works the interrogative of the present simple with the auxiliar do or does. En este ejercicio vamos a trabajar la interrogativa del presente simple que sabéis que empezaba o por do o por does. ¿Os acordáis o no os acordáis? Claro que os acordáis. Eh, do se ponía con I, con you, con we, ¿verdad? Y con they. Y con they, ellos. Sin embargo, das se pone con he, she, it. ¿Entendido? Do I, do you, do we, do they, or does he, does she, does it. In this case, en este caso, se puede con el do. Y siempre que te preguntan con do, o oh, you have a question with do, tienes en la respuesta, the answer has a do. ¿Veis? Do, do. O oh, do. And if the answer is negative, don't. Si es negativa, don't. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, si alguien te pregunta, do you like sausages? Yes, I do. Pero si te preguntaran, imagínate que te preguntan si le gusta a ella, Does she like potatoes? Does she, porque pues ella es does. Does she like potatoes? La respuesta sería, oh yes. Si das, como viene con das la pregunta, la respuesta tiene que ser das. No se puede ser, no se puede poner do o don't, ¿vale? Y si das o no, si das, ¿vale? Recordar eso. Si te preguntan con he, she o it, la respuesta es he, she, it does o no, he, she, it doesn't. Que se escribe el das normal, luego la n de not, el apóstrofo y la t, ¿vale? Yes, he does, no, he does, eh? Y las de este lado son yes, I do, no, I don't. Vamos a escuchar y repetimos. Listening Listen 43. Repeat, okay? It's very Activity easy. Activity 1. Listen, Listen and read. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Come on. At, At the, the campsite. campsite. En el campamento. Do you like sausages? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do you like jam? Yes, I do. Okay. And finally, number Do three. you like sausages and jam? No, I don't. Yuck! Lo que te he dicho antes, yuck, no me gusta. No, I don't. Do Repeat. you like sausages? Repeat, do you like sausages? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Number two. Do you like jam? Like jam? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you, you like, like sausages, sausages and jam? You like sausages and jam? No, no I, I don't. don't. No, I Yuck. don't. Yuck. Yeah. It's very easy. The only thing you have to bear in mind is that when you write answer, sorry, questions in English present simple, 
eh? you use the auxiliaries do or does do con I, you, we and they y does con he, she y it ¿vale? y las respuestas son o do o don't o does o doesn't como hemos hecho aquí eso hay que tenerlo en cuenta well now we have the game so for the game you need two people eh? in your case you are at home you can play the game with your brother with your sister with your mom with your dad so here imagine that this girl mira que esta chica imagine this eh, come on teacher imagine this girl oh what's happening Imagine that this girl is your mom or your dad, and and she she thinks of one of these characters. Va a pensar en uno de estos personajes. Ella quiere ser o Mike o Carla o Sophie Sam. It quiere. Tú tienes que averiguarlo. You have to guess to find out eh, who is. Averigua quién es. De acuerdo. Por eso te pregunto. Tú le preguntarás a tu padre o a tu madre. Do you like pasta? And your mom, your dad says. Yes, I do. Yeah, si le gusta la pasta puede ser o Carla o Sam. Okay? Pero todavía no lo sabes. Otra pregunta. Le hace otra pregunta. You ask another question. Do you like toast? And the girl says, No, I don't. I don't like toast, 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 toast. Uh, Sam, Sam does like toast. Eh? No le gusta la tostada a Sam, ¿verdad? Entonces, no puede ser. ¿Y quién se quedaría? Carla. Carla, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Vale? This is the solution. You are Carla. Now you play the game in, uh, in pairs with your mom, with your dad, with your brother or sister. And remember to change the roles in this play. Okay? First you are the boy and second you are the girl. And just the opposite. Practice. Come on, stop the video and practice questions and answer with do. Well, and finally, and finally, we have the quest puzzle and the quest poster. The mini explorer are pointing to the uh, the letter I and the number eight. E ocho, I eight. If you go to the poster, the I with the number eight is a table. So table is the letter T. So lesson two, unit six, this first word you can see here is table. Write the initial letter of table T. Escribimos la T. So stop the video and write the letter T. Right. Close the Explorer puzzle and the Explorer's page. And now we use a class book and we open the activity book on page number 56 and 57. Okay? Activity book, page 56 and 57. They are very easy because all the activities we are going to see are related to the vocabulary, okay? To the new vocabulary. Uh, here we have one, two, and one and two. Number one, it's very easy. You match, match using different colors, not the set, not only with the pencil, use different colors. You match the words to the pictures that you can see here on the picnic. Hmm? So you stop and match. Well. After this easy activity, the number two is write. You have a crossword with different uh, pictures, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with food and drink, and you write the correct words in the crossword. So it's very easy, it's very simple, very similar to the activity number one. It's only in order to practice the, the vocabulary, okay? It's only to practice your, your writing, eh? practice your writing. So stop the video and uh, complete the activity number two. Perfect, my friends. Now we go to the page number 57. Page number 57, it's very easy. We have two children. This girl, eh, I think the, the, girl, the girl's name is Emily, and this boy, eh, eh, the boy's name is uh, Will, Guillermo, William. And they have one, two, three pictures, each one, with different food and drink. And you have to draw a happy face and or a sad face, depending on if uh, he or she likes or he or she doesn't like. Okay, so listen and draw with your pencil a happy face or a sad face. Let's go. Listening 44. Activity 1. Listen and draw. 1. Emily, do you like salad? Salad? Yes, I do. So you draw a happy face. Do you like toast? No, I don't. 
draw the face. Do you like pasta? No, no I don't. Draw Yuck. the face. Draw the face. Two. Will. Will. Do you, Do you like, like eggs? eggs? No, I don't. Do you like sandwiches? Yes, I do. Do you like juice? Yes, I do. I love juice. Okay, that's all. It's very easy. If you need a repetition, you repeat and repeat it. Okay? So please, after the activity number one, we have the last activity of the day. It's the number two, right, and then tick of crows. Ask a friend, in this case, ask your family, and tick of crows. This is me, and this is my friend. Instead of my friend, tachamos lo de mi amigo y ponemos, por ejemplo, a mi hermana, my sister. Yo le preguntaría a mi hermana si estuviera en casa, ¿vale? My sister. Entonces, you write the questions with your pencil. You have water, sandwiches, eggs, salad, and spaghetti. Oh, sorry, pasta. So you complete always using this structure. Do you like? Here you write, do you like? Do you like? Do you like? Don't forget to write, do you like? Please. It's not possible to write only the word sandwiches. No. Do you like sandwiches? Do you like eggs? Do you like salad? Or would you start with the structure, do you like? And you answer about you. What's your opinion about this question? In my case, about me, the teacher, me. Uh, teacher, do you like water? Yes, I like water. Do you like sandwiches, teacher? Yeah, no, I don't like sandwiches. Do you like eggs? Yes, I like eggs. Do you like salad? Mm, love salad. Do you like pasta? Yes, I like, but I don't love salad. Okay? My sons, they love salad. Sorry, they love pasta. But me, in my case, I only like pasta. So, well, yes. And then I ask to my sister. Me preguntaría a mi hermana. Sister, uh, do you like um, pasta? And my sister says, yes, I do. So, yes, I do. So, pick. Remember, no vale yes or no. Es yes, I do. No, I don't. Lo que tienes que responder aquí. Okay, now you stop the video and you complete the activity number two. And well, and that's all, my friends. We have finished uh, the lessons today. Um, something important I have to clarify to you. Uh, it's not necessary to, um, to, to do the homework. Okay? It's not compulsory. It's not obligatory to do the homework. Ya no es obligatorio hacer la tarea. Papás y a vosotros que se acababa. Esto lo hago porque habrá gente como yo que me gustaría terminar la lección 6, pero ya por terminarla y por dejar el libro hecho, ¿vale? Que no se os quede sin hacer. Entonces, eh, por eso no vamos a en el cuaderno, por eso vamos a ir directamente a hacer las actividades de clase porque quedan muy pocos días. Entonces, quiero en dos o en tres vídeos, en tres vídeos a lo mejor, terminar eh, esta lección que me parece importante. ¿vale? Y la tarea de Homework. If you want, you can send me the photographs with the homework, then I correct it. I correct it. Yeah. So, I it. Yeah. Yeah. Pero ya no es obligatorio. Si me la quieres enviar, no pasa nada. Tú lo haces porque lo quieres hacer y se acabó. No pasa ni media, que ya hemos trabajado bastante durante el curso. ¿Vale, chicos? Os quiero mucho. Love and kiss for all of you. Okay? Bye bye.